كاميلا كوالو تشارك عالمها الخاص مع 10 مليون متابع. It depends on my mood. Some days I feel okay, I want to go edgy. Another day I'm super classy. I like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. كل هالبوستات الجذاب على انستغرام هي لشخص واحد وطبعا عرفتوا عن مين عم نحكي كاميلا كوالو المؤثره البرازيليه الاشهر اللي حققت شهره عالميه لانها قدرت تقدم مفهوم جديد عن عالم الموضه والجمال وطبعا لانها بتتميز بستايل مختلف ومتجدد بكل شيء له علاقه بالموضه والازياء <تصفيق> When I ask you how do you describe your style, what do you have to say? Do you, I like because I feel like it keeps changing. Yeah. Sometimes you're like it used to be classical. Now you're. You know, I every stylist says when I work with stylists that I'm a chameleon because I love trying everything. Like one day I'm edgy, and another day I'm romantic. But I always have this Brazilian sexy side of me. Like I love, you know, like now I have a slit. So I love changing it. It depends on my mood. Some days I feel okay, I want to go edgy. Another day I'm super classic. So yeah. فكاميلا عودتنا دائما بالإيفنتس إنها تكون on point from head to toe وتلفت الأنظار كلها بإطلالاتها الترندي والفاشنبل خاصة بأسابيع الموضة والإكسكلوسيف فاشن شوز يلي بتحضرهم. You have a huge media following. A lot of people love your style. What do you think is it about you that people love? I don't know. I actually don't know. It's really hard to talk about yourself, right? And I think maybe because uh, I'm authentic or I'm really, I all these years I've stayed true to myself, maybe. I really don't know. It's a good question. We should ask people around. ما ضروري نسأل يا كاميلا نحن حنقول لك شو السر، فأنت من الأوائل يلي بدأوا بنشر محتوى عن الفاشن ودايما بتشاركي مع متابعينك تجهيزاتك و Get Ready With Me videos. Get ready with me. So I'm wearing a little black dress and I'm going to accessorize it with Pandora. I'm going to start with necklaces and I'm ready. وطبيعي جدا هالشي خليك توصلي لمكان تكوني مصدر الهام لعدد كبير من البنات. Maybe because of uh, my fashion, the beauty content that I put up and did since the beginning. I know um, Arabic girls love makeup and I do too. So maybe that as well. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Again, uh, I, you know, we love your style. How do you, keep, how do you stay in shape the whole time? Because you're, you look amazing. You show us your workout routine and everything. But how do you stay in shape? You know, after I had my son, I say I'm blessed with good genes, but After I had my son, it was really when like I started to pay attention. What am I eating? Am I exercising enough? Because once you have a child, everything changes. So right now I'm eating healthier, and like now I finally have a nutritionist, and I'm working out three times a week. I try to stay active, and sometimes it's not just working out; it's dancing or taking a walk. And having a son too makes you work out. You're always running after them. وبالفعل هالشي. فدايما بنشوف فيديوهات لي كاملة وابنها مع بعض. فالواضح إنها سوبر مامي وبتحب تعمل كل شيء لابنها بنفسها. خاصة انه هي بالسابق مرت بفترة صعبة حتى قدرت تحبل، ولهالسبب كاميلا بتحرص دايما ابنها يكون معها بالسفر. بس هالمرة بدبي ما قدرت تاخذه معها. I miss him so much. Next time you should get him. I know, I know. your things to do. I can't wait for him to come to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. And like when you travel, how does it work with the kids and everything with your son? I travel with my husband. We always take him because he needs at least daddy at home. But I, yeah, he's with the nanny, family, my husband, filled with love. And I send him videos all day. Like he is obsessed with the videos I send him. Like I send him kisses or I show him something. So somehow he feels like I'm still there. Uh, but it's hard. It's always hard to leave them. طيب والسؤال المهم هون هو كيف بتلحق تكون ام و content creator و businesswoman بنفس الوقت. Prioritizing your time. Really, I learned that along the way, and now with my son especially, you really have to prioritize the things you want to do, what's most important to you. And to me, a lot of times I have to say no's to brands or to opportunities because, you know, my family, for example, is what makes me the happiest, the most important. So it really like just choosing and balancing. Now I'm talking sweet.